Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. We are on our way to Devon's shop again to work on the Duramax. We're gonna do some traction bars and maybe tinker on the first gen a little bit. But uh, hopefully you guys are doing well. Remember, we are down to the last, actually probably less than 48 hours to enter to win this 2008 LMM Duramax giveaway. Information is in the description below. Every $15 you spend is another entry to win. Let's get into the video. Well, we're at Devon's place. We're gonna get the rear brackets put on for these traction bars and then we're going to take it over to the shop we'll bring a welder over here and uh, get the welding part of the traction bars done and maybe I'll throw in the fog lights in the meantime as well and other than that this truck will be pretty much good to go what do you know it's dead again. No way. Always, always here working on the trucks for me. Yeah. I know, I know I can't work work on my own trucks. They always remind me. Really <laughs> uh, custom fab traction bars. So that's what we're doing. When I say we, I mean Devin. So axle portions bolts on, the yep. front portion well, connected to the frame is weld on. Yeah, so we'll have fun there. We just gotta get our welder situation down. We haven't seen these traction bars yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy sh! They're Nikes. The first one's actually in pretty good shape. So Devin's starting on the Duramax, getting those traction bars mounted up, the rear brackets and everything. But looking at the old first gen here, I do like this truck. Comment down below, what do you think we should do with this? Should we build the trans, or just see how long it'll last without the trans build? We just took this down the road and I really laid into it good. And uh, it, sets you, it sets you back pretty good. You're doing good so far. I know. It looks good. Look at you with your uh, beard comb. Making it look good. <laughs> so, yeah. That's the last thing for this truck, though, is just the traction bars yeah. and then the smoked fog lights, and that's it. And those are in the truck, too, but that'll be quick and easy. It'll pop in and out type of deal. Well, you sure you don't want to put these sweet boys on? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I told him we should put these on the first shin and just weld them up to make them work, but. Just for that truck, it's not like it's a daily See if I knew I was, I'm giving to somebody. If I knew that we were welding, my stepdad would have brought the welder from the shop. Yeah. Um, we had a welder here. It was a huge welder, wasn't it, Ricky? Yeah, and we just we sold it. We didn't need it. But now we need a welder. They look good. They look huh? great. They're not scratched, so it's dirty. Look at that beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it does look good. How do you like it? So we did finish putting the traction bars on. We as in uh, Devin and his friends over there. So we did get the smoke fog lights in, the LEDs, to kind of tie into that headlight housing a little bit better. So are those traction bars going all right? Yeah, they're all right. They're, they're easy. So the back uh, just bolts onto the U-bolts, and then the front mount and everything just well goes onto the frame. So you just grind the frame and then weld them onto a clean surface, and then 
once you get done with them, you know, it's like those snow in, you can put the bars up, but we didn't have a snow in, so you'll have to. Yeah. Yeah. No, it looks good. good. It does look good. know what we're going to be doing to that dually here but you ready to tear on that thing yeah it should be pretty cool i wonder if we should just wait and like wait for the wheels and tires to come in yeah and then like get it all everything. done at once yeah because yeah. i'll probably they sit none of these people know what i'm doing to the truck yet but i'm probably going to order those here the next day or two and yeah whenever they you should want to, pile yeah. in in just a couple days that'd be cool just one night just boom boom done yeah it's gonna look it's gonna look a lot different it'll look a lot better it's i'm it would be cool if it was like, you know, uh, like a welding rig bed with a welder on the rear. That would look really that would, Yeah, but that's big money. Money we yeah. don't have. You know, so. Maybe maybe someday we'll do like a welding rig giveaway because, you know, there's a lot of, there's actually a lot of guys that walk in the field that have welding rigs. And yeah. They do welding and stuff like that. A lot, a lot of guys like that. But yeah. It looks good. Can't wait to get to that track. That's going to be uh, coming up here soon. We're going to see what we can do to that truck in 30 days. Oh, another huge shout out to Devin and his stepdad and friend for helping us with the traction bars and getting those done. Um, keep in mind, guys, we we're down to less than 48 hours. We're actually, probably down to about 36 hours left to enter the 2008 LMM Duramax giveaway. Do not miss out. This truck could be yours within a week from now. It could be sitting in your driveway. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Every $15 you spend gets you another entry to win this truck. And it is a beautiful truck. I'll leave a build list in the description below so you can see all what we actually did to it. We did do a lot more than people think. And it really took this truck to a whole new level in just about 30 days. And it just looks really good, really good. And a huge shout out to my uh, sponsorships that helped me out with this Anthem, really Custom Fab, and Boost Auto Parts for helping me out with uh, some of the aspects of this build that just really tied it together and really made it that much nicer in the end. So huge shout out to you guys. Thanks so much for all my love for my subscribers. Leave a fat thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, enter that giveaway. That truck could be yours. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.